Hello, friends. Let me see if I can get this to work. Here we go. Good morning. Well, it's still morning here. It is 11.39. And the thingy for my music is not working. Why? Mm -mm. Oh, title played. Of course, title played. What are you talking about, Snip? How about now? Ah, okay. Let me restart. Let me restart Spotify. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. How about now? Still not working. Uh, it's really annoying because I did check it right before stream. And it happens lately. I was looking to see if there was any update for that software, but there isn't. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Welcome to the stream. It's a morning stream. It's gonna be a quiet one. It's gonna be nice. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna do today, I don't know if I'm gonna even like actually paint something. I just wanna try out uh, some brushes that I have, that I bought. Um, I don't know if you know Maddie on Twitch. Um, she used to stream a lot. She doesn't stream all that much anymore. She streamed, I think, she streamed yesterday and I caught it and I was like, yay! <laughs> Amazing! Like, I miss her stream so much and she's really, really cool. Um, let me put up her Instagram on the in the chat so you guys can see. Uh, it's Instagram. I think it's Lucky Melon. I think that should work. Mm -mm -mm. No, it's the wrong one. <laughs> okay. Did she change it? Ah, it's lucky dot melon. Ah, let me let me get that right. Here we go. This is Maddie's Instagram. She's really cool and she makes uh, really, really nice brush packs for Photoshop and Procreate. The good thing is, Clip Studio Paint, you can import Photoshop brushes and they work really nicely. Like I haven't, obviously the brush engine is different and stuff, Ooh. but the, um, what's it called? Uh, the imports work really well. So today I'm just going to check them out and see how they work and all that stuff and get some favorites together. I'm just gonna go through all the... <laughs> just gonna go through all these and see which ones I like, which ones I wanna like incorporate in, in, my, in my workflow. So it's gonna be cool. I'm excited to, to give them a go. Let's see. Um, so specifically this one is a um, children's illustration brush pack, which I was really excited about. Um, I also have her um, kind of like traditional media, um, like her, her gouache brushes. Um, they're really cool. There's like a... Things like this. Dry brush. Yeah, so I have this pack. It's really good. I use it all the time. And I have another one called... I think it's just called traditional media for Photoshop or something. Um, some really good stuff here. I use... There's one that I use like all the time. 
It's this one. I'm sure it's this one. No, this one. I use in almost every painting. It's lovely. <laughs> Blends really well. And if you use it lightly, you can do like some some cool textures on top of other like the way I use it usually is I use it on um, on top of a, another color to give some variation uh. oops So I'm just gonna go through the brushes and we can we can chat, you know, and and yeah, that's it. <laughs> mm. How are you guys doing today? It's a Sunday morning. Cosmic, <laughs> hello. How are you? You're awesome. <laughs> nice. Welcome to the stream. Chilling before some Linux gaming. Ooh, what game are you gonna play? This is cool. This is very... Very much a soft brush. I love the texture. That's so nice. So trying to find an artist for a commission? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Which are one most probably? Nice. I've seen uh, I've seen the the uh, the combat for uh which one isn't all that great. These are so good guys. Love it. Oh, I love this one already. Pretty rough in general, but you're playing it for the story. Oh yeah, for sure. It's nice to know, like, because uh, I'm pretty sure most people started with Witcher 3. So it's... I'm guessing it's nice to, to know the story. Oh, this brush is cool. Okay. I'm gonna put some favorites together. Ah, this looks a lot like my usual, my usual pencil brush, except it's rougher. Ah. You beg to defer? What do you mean? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, okay, I love this. Is it weird that I'm getting excited over this? Ah. You started from Witcher 1? Ah, right, okay, okay, okay. Ooh. Must be... Must be tough. Ah, okay, so these are like dry brush. Pencil shader. Ah, so, okay, I see. There's a tutorial that comes with the brush pack, by the way. She, it's, I'm not, not sponsored or anything. I just love her work. Um, but like, it's so well curated, her brush packs, because she puts like... You've not only got the brushes, but you've also got like a tutorial that explains like how she uses it and you get like the the promo artworks, high-res artwork and stuff like that. It's really good. Hey, Ellen, you're there, but you're in a few minutes. You're quite busy. No problem. Enjoy the lurk. I'll be here. So you can say, for example, say you're coloring in a shape. Oh, I like how this is still showing through a little bit. Say you've got your shape. 
I don't know. And then you've got... Oops, put this back up. It lets me... There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of them brushes. Oh my god, pencil shade are fine. So, and then you could... You could shade this and make it look like pencil. That's so good! I love dry brush. Okay. What I'm gonna do instead of... Um, instead of just um, moving brushes, I'm gonna copy them so that I still... I still have the complete set in one folder, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate subtool, put it there. Here we go. And call this faves. Hello? There. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Yum, what's up? Good morning. Well, morning. It's afternoon for you now. Just about. Mm. Wait. We're just testing some brushes today. Nothing too fancy, you know? Just. Just gonna enjoy the. The whole thing. Something I want to see is because we have pencil shaders. I want to see how they compare to the dry brush. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> nothing too fancy. Uh, now we, uh, now it's a uh, super fancy. <laughs> You'll be the judge of that. Ah, uh, yes. We are. Uh, we are just. Uh, I downloaded. Well, I, I bought some uh, some brushes from uh, Maddy. Maddy, uh, do you know Maddy on Twitch? Well. Uh, I don't know if you know her because she used to stream quite a lot before, but now she doesn't that, mu that much. But uh, she paints. She paints in uh, in gouache, and uh, she's really really cool person. And uh, she streams on Beyonce now a lot. But um, she says she's gonna stream uh, again on Twitch, which I'm really excited. And uh, she makes brushes for Photoshop. Uh, good thing is. You can upload the brushes, the Photoshop brushes, you can upload also on Clip Studio Paint. It seemed like she streamed yesterday. Yes, so this is, I was really excited to, to see her stream again. This is why I knew about the brushes. I have three of her brush packs. I have three of them. Uh, they are really good, I use them all the time. <laughs> my little creature saying back hi, my overlay is so cute. Ah, thank you. Hello, Nuget. Nuget. Ah, I forget, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I guess uh, I, can, uh, I can say Nuget <laughs> right now. Uh, I have uh, a joker. Yes, my, be my little uh, beetle mascot says hello. How are you, Nuget? <laughs> hey, Bionic, what's up? I can say Nuget if I want. <laughs> But no, Nugget has two G's. This is why I get confused. Um, so yes, we are testing uh, some brushes. <laughs> this is gonna be today's stream. Maybe I will do something uh, later on. Uh, but mostly I just want to check them out. <laughs> Oop. Uh, you're fine? Cool. Sunday morning. Sunday afternoon now. I keep saying morning. It's, it'll, it'll still be morning for 
six minutes for me. In six minutes, I cannot say that anymore. <laughs> Okay, let's compare, let's compare these pencil shaders to the other ones, uh, the dry brush ones that she has. Or, uh, dry brush fine, small and medium and big. Ah, there's four on this one. Okay, let's see. Yeah, the texture is different. Texture is different. Although I think these two are quite similar. Just the paper texture is different. This is a bit more... a bit rougher, right? The third shot yesterday! So far so good! Nice! Uh, I was fine after my third shot. The, f the one that knocked me down was... I think it was the first one. I was really sick for 24 hours. But the second and third one, no problem. Some people say it's the other way around. Let's see. I think overall, I think overall I prefer the top ones. They're a bit less. They're a bit less. <laughs> exactly. The second one had you a bit feverish the following evening. That's all so far. Oh, cool. Nothing for the first one? Oh, you must have a good immune system to start with. I'm just gonna keep that. We're just gonna keep... Keep doing that. Okay, so I'm gonna put the pencil shaders in there. Duplicate. Boom. Mm. Okay, so I have this. It's a really cool one. I think I might use this one more often. This might replace like my my pencil brush. It's really good. Don't know if you can see the texture. Me like it. All of them moved to us. You're a weak artist. Oh no. Nah, it has nothing to do with that. Definitely really like this one. We're only like, I, I won't. <laughs> I've only tried like five of them and we have a hundred something to go through. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be a very interesting stream, but I'm just advertising the brushes, you know. She's a good artist, she deserves it. <laughs> um Okay, pencil partly blended. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, that's cool. So there's the the texture, and then you can sort of like blend it in the middle. If that makes sense. Like there's a some kind of blend happening here in the middle. That's cool. Narrow hodo, exactly. <laughs> when uh, when are you doing a, a new uh, VTuber stream, Yum? I've been lurking in your streams lately. Sorry, I haven't said hello. Hello, I say it now. <laughs> mm -mm. Your laptop cannot handle it. Oh, oh, shame. Charcoal. Oh, these are these are all so good. I'm gonna have so much fun with them. I should do a, I should do at least one illustration with these only. 
Because my usual brushes, I have like... Where are they? Here. So usually I have a few brushes that I use. I have this one for writing. Let me make it bigger. This one I use for writing. I have this one that I use for outlining. This one, that's like a brush that blends quite well. I don't know if you can see. It's just really good. Uh, and I have this one for texture. Sometimes this one, oh. but very rarely. So like these are my four brushes basically <laughs> that I use all the time. The VTuber program eats CPU like crazy. Oh, I can imagine. At some point you will have to get a desktop. Same, like one day I'll, I'll, I'll upgrade. One day I'll upgrade. I have a laptop right now. It's a good laptop. Um, but to be honest, I don't really use it like, I don't really move it around. <laughs> so the laptop part of it is kind of not very useful. Maybe one day I'll upgrade, but right now the priority is like the the spare money is going into savings for something else. It's not it's not the priority right now. <laughs> the middle is nice. You mean this one? This this one here? Yeah, it's pretty good. So let's see if I can do an illustration without these. I'm pretty sure I can. I just have to find like the nice ones. <laughs> or I think the the most difficult part is gonna be kind of picking some because they're all good. <laughs> I need to watch the tutorial also that comes with the brushes so I can so I can see how she uses them and. Oh, this is nice, man. Charcoal, dark, bold. Pressure sensitive. Pressure sensitive? Ooh, that doesn't... That one doesn't work really well with Clip Studio. Sometimes, um... Because... I'm pretty sure they don't behave exactly the same as, uh... As the Photoshop versions. Because obviously, like, there's pen pressure, you can see it. Um, but obviously, the brush engine is different, so sometimes it doesn't translate very well. And I feel like those pressure sensitive ones, unless it's my. I don't know. They... Oh no, it's alright actually. It's just me. Yeah, see, sometimes it doesn't work. Very well. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, it's just... Ah, there's gaps. Weird. Laptop does have a webcam which you use as a face cam. Ah, well, there you go. Do you still have your... Your your bottle? Your your camera strapped, strapped to your bottle? <laughs> it, it works. Why is it called Dark Bolt 2? I love this. That one doesn't work as well as I would like it to work. But that's definitely most probably because of the the brush engine. Ooh. And also because of my pen, sometimes it's... I don't know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Oops.
情。Oh, this one could replace my my usual pastel one. I feel. It's gonna it's gonna be a lot of this today. <laughs> a lot of squiggly lines, and then we'll do something with it. I promise. I promise we'll we'll do a, some kind of maybe like a timed study or something, depending on how long I have. Mm -mm, Cause I do start work at 3 p.m. again. Ooh, bless you, darling. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for the follow. How are you? Hello there. Welcome. Sorry, it's a lot of squiggly lines today. But I swear, usually I draw. <laughs> I draw some stuff. This is the latest illustration I made <laughs> on this program. I do a lot of traditional painting, but um, I do like digital as well. It's a different workflow. Mm -mm. Right now I'm just testing some brushes. It's so cute, thank you. Oh no, what? let's see, I know. Ah, it's from John Sean. I, I knew this uh, this emote. Really cute. Oh, that's a cool emote. I need something like that. I need more emotes. <laughs> oh, by the way, I I have this new. Uh, I I have uploaded this new emote. There you go. <laughs> I finally have animated emotes. Lots. Finally. There you go. This is for when I dry something. Because <laughs> this is my hair dryer. <laughs> Cold. I quite like... Okay, so was it this one? I think it was this one. I think it's my my pen. It sometimes work and sometimes doesn't. I don't know how I can fix it. I like this. Let's get this one. Charcoal gritty. See? And more gritty. Wow! Oh, that's a cool one. All the texture. I'm excited. I'm excited to paint with these. <laughs> doot, doot. Okay. Okay, that's like a texture brush. Nice. Another one. That's cool. Oil pastel. Ooh. Sorry, I'm gonna be ooing and eyeing. Does it blend? It doesn't really blend, but I can make it blend. Um, I'm pretty sure these would be a lot better. Pretty sure these will be a lot better in uh, in Photoshop. There you go. Now it should blend. Ooh. 
I don't know. Can I like it better without? That's nice. I like how... I don't know if you can see, but I like how the edges are kind of sharp, but inside it's blended. Hmm. Or pastel organic. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I'm way too excited about this! I wish I could see how they behave properly in Photoshop so that I can adjust if they're different. Side shader. I guess it would be. I guess it would be uh, more interesting for you if um, if you could feel it. If you could feel how they behave. They look so good, right? So much texture. Actually, let me let me get this again so that I can copy the link if I need to. These are brushes from this person, Maddie. She's really, really incredible. She makes her brush, her own brush packs, and she sells them on ArtStation. I buy them, all of them. <laughs> pastel is dark. Oh. I like this one. Oh, I like them. Sort of like cell kind of pattern that appears can you see it it's got like these splashes it's like dots almost i really like that one i'm gonna get that one Oop. duplicate okay now soft pastels okay I like that she had the idea of something like this, like where it's sharp on the sides and then the more you the more you press at the center, the more blended it gets in between the bits of texture, if that makes sense. Like honeycomb almost, right? This one's really fantastic. Okay, let's delete this. Soft pastel. Too light. The more you go at it, the more it blends. I like that. I think these are definitely gonna replace my... Uh, where is it? This one. Blech. This one that I use all the time. Gaomiko, bonjour! Comment vas-tu? Je, je, je teste des brushes aujourd'hui. It's not gonna be super interesting for the first hour, but then I promise I'll, I'll do a study of some kind with them. Texture shader. Oh, that is lovely. And I've been ooing and eyeing at them. <laughs> so expect me going oh every five seconds when I try a new one. Why is Snip not working again? That's annoying.
you always only use one. Honestly, I have tons of brushes, but I use maybe like four, four or five regularly. Because I want the texture, but I have those four brushes that work really well for me. I have maybe 200 or 300 brushes from this person, all packs together because I have three, three brush packs. And uh, yeah, too many. Ah, that's cool. This one I really like. <laughs> but yeah, go Miko, you use a. Uh... Use like a like a marker type brush, right? Same width, all all the way. I'm guessing. And a mouse. <laughs> it's the same with pop fonts and graphic design. You always use three or four. Even if you have hundreds of it. Exactly, it's the same kind of syndrome. I use Railway a lot when it comes to like core de text, like main text, I use Railway a lot. Um, most of the time the simplest brush. Yeah, it works. It, it just works for your, for your style. If you ever do stickers, I'll definitely get some. Okay, crayon, yay! <laughs> That's so nice. Crayon lighter. Crayon gritty. Oh! These are freaking amazing. Okay. This one is a bit softer. I like them all. Help. <laughs> How am I gonna choose which one to use? I like them all. <laughs> Crayon shader. Okay, okay. A little bit like the pastel shader. I think I prefer the pastel shader. But I can see I can see the difference. This is a bit more like blended. This looks a bit more like um like oily. There's so many like good replacements for this one. This is my usual brush for texture. And sometimes it's a bit hard to... Not hard to control, but it's hard to like just get a small amount of texture. Like this is much easier. Mm -mm. You were looking for stickers printing solution on the internet, but still haven't found something you like. It's always plastic or basic white paper. And you would like things like craft paper stickers? Ah, yes. That would definitely be fun. Doesn't sticker app have anything like that? I know they have quite a few... Quite a few materials. But getting some stickers made is... Um, it gets expensive. It gets expensive because you need to order like 200 of them. <laughs> and then sell them for like... 3 euros? 3-4 three, euros each?
These three are really good. Crane Shader 1, I like this one as well. Duplicate. Send here. Nice. Some Grim Fandango soundtrack thing. There's quite a few there in the queue, actually. I'll move them up. I'll move them up so we can have a few... Uh, a few uh, smooth jazz. <laughs> Tracks. And Snip is still not working. Why you no play me why you no play music title? I don't know. Whatever. Um, you haven't checked on sticker up? You will definitely check it. Yeah. There's always the solution of printing on craft paper by yourself, cutting them, and sending it with a stick of glue. <laughs> Old school style. <laughs> I don't know, actually. I haven't I haven't looked um, if you can find, like, craft sticker paper online, like, on its own. Craft. Paper. You can find that. Craft labels. No. Craft paper sticker. Actually, yes, the brand I usually buy from, they do... They do craft paper. That's cool. For um for labels. Let's see if I can zoom. Like uh. Uh. can't see anything. There you go, that's a bit better. Eek. Eek. Ah. The brand is called Evergreen. I don't know if uh, you can find that. I, f I find them on Amazon, uh, on eBay also, here in the UK. Um, it's called Evergreen. Uh, it looks like... Like this. But I can show you, I have the... I have like 5,000 of these. <laughs> looks like that. And they have different... They have different things. They have um, white vinyl, inkjet, laser, they have transparent, they have just like normal paper. You didn't think about label printers? Yeah, you could print, print them on this and then cut them and sell them. Right? Let's see. Organic texture marks. Oh! Oh! That's fun. Looks like camo now because <laughs> of the colors. White paper flex. It's taking its time. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, this is, so this brush is a bit demanding. <laughs> it looks like. If I make it smaller, it's fine. And it's the exact same texture. Okay, that could be useful for sure. Basic airbrush. Yeah, that's... Probably the... The most basic smooth airbrush you could find. Salt texture. Ah, oh. That's really cool. It definitely... This is definitely a texture that she scanned. Ah, here we go. Watercolor brushes. Oh. Light texture... What does this one say? I cannot see it. Light texture, alt. Okay, so this one is a bit more... Uh... And the edges are different. Mm -hmm. Looks so cool, like moon surface. Yeah! Where was it again? Here? You could combine it, like maybe not using it too heavily, but just, um, oh, my light just went off because I forgot to turn them. <laughs> forgot to turn the, what's it called? The things on. So <laughs> it was running on battery and it went off. Okay. I don't use watercolor very often. Usually I'm not... I'm usually not a huge fan of watercolor brushes. I don't know why. Just in general. I just don't think that um, digital watercolor brushes work most of the time. But who knows? Like, It's still nice texture. This one's a bit slow. Okay, so the main thing with these ones, I think, is they're gonna be... Like, you can layer them. You love traditional watercolor, but you've always been really bad at it. You just don't understand how it works. It's definitely uh, same for me. Same for me. I'm I'm having a hard time um, using it properly, and uh, I see people use it, and it's incredible. Like they move the paper, and they, like the, the thing moves in a certain the pigment migrates in a certain way, and like some interesting things happen. And I'm like, I can't. It's not working for me. <laughs> Why is it not working? Tell me your secrets. <laughs> oh, this one's cool, wait. This one looks like something I would use. Mm, there's a lot of stuff happening here. Like this here, those things. Oh! A lot of things going on. This one's very cool, I have to say. Okay.
This one's going in there. I wish I had the comparison with uh, with Photoshop, really, because I know they're they're not the same. They, they can't be exactly the same because uh, they're imported. Ooh. So this one would be maybe to use lightly on on some spots. Everywhere. Okay, gouache paint, gouache brushes. Let's see. Yes. They're a bit transparent as well. These ones. Hey, hey morning teacup. Yes! The first use, the first use of this amazing emote that I brought. <laughs> What's up, Teacup? I'm so glad I finally have my animated emote slots. Okay, this one I can use for sure. Wash textured. Ah. I'm just testing a new brush pack right now, and then we'll we'll do something. I promised I was gonna do <laughs> I was gonna do a study of some kind with these gritty flat. Oh, oh, this is this moves. I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of it kind of changes. Like at the edge moves a bit. I'm just fascinated by it. I don't know how it works. <laughs> People who make brush packs are very skilled. And especially like when you make brush packs, it's like, how do you not, how do you not like repeat the same things that you've already done? How do you like make it different every time? Namba no, just woke up. Nice. I'm doing okay. I'm having a good weekend. I mean, I'm I'm at work, but I'm having a good weekend. <laughs> Regardless, I've uh, I've done some stuff. I've been quite quite productive. I'm happy about that. Um, I finished this print. There you go. So you and Vi will get one of these. Now you get the stickers. Yes, you get the stickers. So you won't get one of these, but you'll get the <laughs> the turnip stickers that are over there on that side, actually. I don't know if you've seen these. Is it this? Yay, you'll get some of these! <laughs> Kid turnips? Yes! Thank you. Triplicate... Mm -mm. Of course, I have to use the gouache ones. Textured. I'm sort of like weeding out the ones that I know I won't be using. So far I have... <laughs> oh my god, I already have quite a bit there. Oh, uh, how I'm gonna do this. Okay, splatters. Mm. Mm. Okay, why not? I need to I need to see the tutorial, see how she does it, see how she uses all these. Okay, cross hatch. Oh, ooh, that's cool. That's very interesting because you can have just something that's relatively flat, but you can also put some edges like this. 
Ooh. I see, I see how it works. So if you just go... If you just go lightly, you'll have some crosshatch, but if you go back and forth, it sort of like keeps adding to... to your stroke. Ah, interesting. Um, hey, Possum, what's up? No worries, teacup. Enjoy the lurk. And good morning. Hopefully this will help waking you up, like, slowly. <laughs> nice and slow. <laughs> May you ask what these brushes are? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Possum already on it. Yeah, I'm just giving it a go. They are um, Maddie's new brushes. In your brush pack. There's a lot. There's like a hundred brushes. You know, you know how it goes. Like right now I'm just trying to go through them and see which ones I'm actually gonna be using and uh, duplicating them in a, another folder here. Um, but there's like a hundred plus brushes I have to go through. <laughs> um, sometimes some brushes don't look terrible when you try it, but are looking great on some artwork. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It might not work just like that, but it might work like on something. Last time you saw a guy using a brush that was looking really bad, just a few round dots in the same brush, but in his artwork it was mimicking moss on stone. Ah, cool. Is that the creator that also did the other ones? Yes! Uh, do I have a link? I do. I'm trying to get it for you. Okay. I'm trying to see how we can get to that. I'm just gonna Google Art Station. Mm -mm -mm. Go. <laughs> Almost there. Okay, got it. There we go. It's specific for children's illustration. So, you know, I had to get this one. I had to get this one. There's a lot of like, um, like crayon and pastel and pencil type brushes. Very good. And you, you know, she goes always the extra mile. There's a tutorial and like, there's, um, like, sh you get the high res of the artwork and things like that. There's a few watercolor brushes as well. I'm not, I'm not convinced. Like, I don't know about you, person, but I'm always kind of, like, I don't, I don't really like how digital watercolor brushes behave usually but some of them are cool like this one this one i think looks really good there's some interesting stuff happening mm. okay so i was doing the cross cross hatch ones Ah, it's interesting. Um, hers are all for Photoshop and Procreate, but still work for CSP. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I've done. I've, I've taken the the Photoshop file, the Photoshop brush file, imported it on here, and they work perfectly. I would love to be able to see the differences, though. I wish I had like a second. I wish I had like a Photoshop on this <laughs> and like put put Clip Studio on one side and Photoshop on the other side and try them like to see the differences and how they feel. Because obviously the, they have to be 
different, but I have no, I have, I will have no, uh, no way of knowing. That's fun. I like this. <laughs> That's cool. And there's a few of those, so you can like combine them, I guess. Um, watercolor brushes are tricky. Yeah, you have some from Kyle and you feel like the CSP brand ones are not that bad. We tend to stick to only use them for a bit of texture, especially CSP has trouble working with wet edges. Yeah, like um, the new like the new ones that they put by default where they are. I have too many, too many things now. Like the new wet wash ones. This one's pretty cool. Even though it takes a while. <laughs> but I just... Um, I just feel like... At the end of the day, it's, it's difficult to mimic watercolor digitally because it's so... Like, it really does its own thing. It's difficult to... To control. No, that's that's the exact thing. Like there's there's too much too much control. <laughs> too much control. Oh, they, I love these, like the scribbly ones. Hey, Ashlyn, what's up? Good morning, afternoon. I cannot say good morning anymore. <laughs> Digital ones will never work the same as watercolors. Yeah, you love being able to go back into dry colors with a wet brush. Mhm. Mm and even like very often watercolor brushes will behave in a way that they kind of layer like i don't know let me get a just a random one even this one like you'll go once and then you can go again but it will kind of layer together and i'm missing that that ability of like going again like putting a, a like a darker color for example on the on the wet wash and have like the ability to just put it in there and it just blends together. Mm -mm -mm. Watercolor is great because you work with what it gives you and you don't control it too much. It can be freeing. I agree. Yeah. And if it, you know, if it's runny and going everywhere, you just have to go with it. <laughs> like, okay, that happens. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> it's just gonna lurk. Nice. Under the lurk. And uh, hopefully you're all having a relaxing Sunday. I have to start. I have to start work in um, two hours, so it will be a like a three hours maximum kind of stream. To be fair, it's the usual. <laughs> it's the usual, right? Three hour stream. Okay, more scribbles. This one has pen pressure. Grassy? Ah, okay, so you could potentially like do a grass patch like this. Three hours feels like a lo good length. It can be exhausting to stream longer. Um, yeah, it's um. Usually for me, it's um, yeah. Either I get tired, but most of the time is because after three hours, I'm usually done with what I <laughs> what I was doing. With me being quite a fast painter, you know. These, I'm pretty sure these are gonna be so useful. Let's see. I can't quite get the angle though. Is it the? It's, it it kind of wants to lean that way. Weirdly. Can I get it to... Hmm. Press hatch. Ah! That could be very, very useful. I like what it's doing there. 
Looked like scribbled grass. Yeah, this one. Ah, it does say angled. <laughs> it does say angled, so that, that makes sense. This one, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep this crosshatch one here. Oops. There's going to be a lot of um, stamp ones as well that I don't think I'm going to be using that much, but... This is cute. I could definitely see... Um, I think I think definitely it would be possible to, to draw a full uh, children's book with only these. And the cross hatch but diagonal. So you could like mix those two. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a full illustration with those and then I'm gonna say thank you for the brushes because she put so much effort into it, and it's only like I paid, I think, seven pounds for them. So I think maybe ten euros, nine, ten euros. Textured. Ah, yes, and this one is directional. Good. Fat strokes. Okay, I think this one I would be using for sure. That's so cool. You. <laughs> They're all very cute. You can totally see them working for children's books. Yeah. Have you seen her her illustration for uh for it like the cover the the mouse and the hot air balloon? It looks absolutely adorable. It's funny to see her do work like this because usually she does um, landscapes. <laughs> wow, I love this one. I love this one, okay. Little marks. Ah, you could use these, for example, as, uh, I don't know, whiskers. <laughs> I think they would look good as whiskers. If you put like a, oops. You clicked on the link so you won't forget to look at the brushes. Brushes! Did you get any of the other the other packs from her? I don't remember if she ever did. Um, nom, nom. But you know what it's like. You get like a, a full brush pack of 120 brushes and then you keep using your same like four. <laughs> have the Ghibli one. Nice! I think you rarely use it though. Like, yeah, that's it. That's it. You stick to like your your default <laughs> default pencil pencil brush <laughs> that came with the program. <laughs> like my... where is it? There you go. My fave, my fave uh, pencil brush that came with Clip Studio. <laughs> It does need an upgrade though, it, it looks a bit flat. It looks a bit flat. I quite like it, but... I don't know, I wish there was some more variation in it. Oh, let's see. There was like um, some charcoal ones that were really good here. 
Pastel, is that it? No. There was a good... Uh, this one's pretty good. There was a good pencil one. I don't remember. This one could be good as a pencil. Mm -mm. Um, mm -mm -mm. You recently started using a different brush for lining and sketching, but it's from a set you already had. Okay, okay. You're looking really hard for a brush that has a lay and decker look, though. A painterly artist acrylic or oil brush. Okay, I know the name, but I need to Google. <laughs> I'm not sure. Ah, so cool. Oh, I love this. So kind of like this one. Well, obviously it's not gonna... It's not gonna show on camera, but... I mean, I'm pretty sure you've seen this painting already, so you will know, but it looks really cool. I like how, I like how they're using, they're using the brush in a way that's like, there's, there's, it's not completely flat. It's kind of like crosshatch. That's really awesome. Thank you. I will definitely have a look at this uh, this artist after stream. Mm -mm -mm. It's so hard to find a digital brush that works. Yeah, texture. You have to go see you later, girl, Miko. Et puis, uh, va, regarde, uh, regarde pour faire des stickers craft avec le, le papier. This is cool. <laughs> Have a good Sunday. Yes! You can only recommend his work. It's really interesting for the time. What? 1950s or something like that? I think I saw. No, he died in 1951. Mm -mm. Early 20th century. Yes. Really cool. I like the colors as well. I like the colors he uses. They're kind of like, um, like the muted, the muted, um, almost like autony type colors, like the orangey reds and the olive green and the sort of yellowish whites. I really like it. Thank you for the recommendation. You sure will. Nice. I'm excited already. Yay. Wait, did I really go through all these? I think I did. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely did. There's just so many. Scribbles. There you go. That's where I was. So, little marks, dashes, oh, that's useful. Pink dashes. Ooh, a little bit less for me. I think the lines are a bit too fine for what I like to use. I'm not exactly... Um, it's not really detailed, I don't think, what I do. It's a bit more a bit more rough. <laughs> you got a book about him for Christmas? Cool! Ah. The, the partner knows how to... Knows what you like. Little dots. Ah, nice!
can see there, like there's a slight color jitter as well. The dots are cute. Yeah. Definitely, that's that's useful as well. And the dashes. Uh, circle scatter. Ah, yeah, no, that I wouldn't use. I know for sure. Circle scatter bubbles. Ah, that's cute. But I don't like. Maybe it's because of um, Clip Studio, like the way the way the brushes are made. But I don't like how some of them are sort of like squished. Let me let me fix that. Um, I don't know where I can... Particle density, spray deviation, direction... Mm. Brush shape? I don't know where that would be. Ah, uh, angle. You always get nervous when you can't control scatters too much. Do you know where that would be, Possum, to avoid the circles going, like, flat? Spray deviation? So the degree of spray deviation. Let's see, how about this? No. Direction of particle? This. Ah, I think I got it. I'm not sure. You sadly don't. <laughs> okay. You like the effect of this brush? Me too. Um. As direction of part. You can set angle of each brush tip. Let's see if I put it like really. If I remove that. I think that worked. You can see here is. I don't know if I, I don't know if that worked. <laughs> I'm not sure. Particle density. Hmm. I think that would be very useful if uh, if if I could use it. I could make it work the way I want. Um. Is it supposed to not be squished in the original? Yeah, I need to have a look at that. Not in a circle. Only press it once. Hmm. Let's see. I want to see what it looks like. Just like this. Yeah, I think you're right. I think they're kind of squished to begin with. This this one I kind of want to use, but okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> do this later. <laughs> I'll do this later. It's something I can do later on. I'm not gonna spend 15 minutes trying to fix the brush. That doesn't make a difference. No. Sometimes they're flattened. Sometimes they're not. It would be something to do with spr the spraying, right? Size. Degree of spray deviation. I 
I do not know. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay, I'll do this later. Ah, there's some. There's some that are not, are not squished. Okay, I quite like this. These look good. These look good. I could play with this forever. <laughs> I could really play with this forever. These are nice. Okay, I'm I'm gonna have to go back to these later on. Feathers or leaves? Ah, yes, I see. So this is more of a More of a... What's it called? A stamp brush already. Curved lines. Ah, that could be useful to avoid doing like a million scales. <laughs> if you're drawing fish or something. Yes. <laughs> In this direction also. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't quite know how you would be able to use this, but why not? If you're doing like one at a time, maybe. These are also interesting because they're already cute, right? Something in the quality of the line makes them look adorable. That's useful. Curved line. It's kind of like the other one, like... Um... Ah, that's cool. Kind of like the other one, but curved. Like um, this one, flat strokes that I like. You can tell that um, she actually she actually um, did all the textures herself. Like she went and she actually uh, scanned <laughs> so many textures. That could be f that could be cool for like um, I don't know like bark texture or. Um, or even some feathery texture, like I could see um I could see a character like an owl or something. <laughs> yeah, this is an owl. <laughs> I could see like a a bird with this kind of texture inside. <laughs> it's my masterpiece of the day. <laughs> There you go. Sorry. Growy lights, stars scatter. Ooh, okay, so now we're gonna need like a darker background. Oops. Let's do some... Some glowy lights and some stars. Ah, nice.
Oh, I really like this. I think I could use this. That's really lovely. You can tell these are actually like scans. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. These look nice. Yeah. Could actually, you know. Let's see. So that's like the one. Let's see. There you go. That's the texture. You could actually get like one or two of these and move them around. Back from like very pretty, yes. Have like a glowy light slash star set here. There's a few. It's quite a few actually. There's like six star brushes. Okay, the glowy lights I'm gonna keep as well. Um, duplicate. There's a bunch of plant stamps, as usual, as well. Stars scattered. Let's do the stars. Whoa! This is like the little stars I make, but in a brush. So handy. <laughs> ah, cool. See, I don't like how they get squashed like this. But it looks nice. That's something I need to... That's something I need to fix if I want to use them. <gasps> oh my god. Like, this is... Was this brush pack made for me? Like, this is exactly what I normally... <laughs> what I normally paint anyway. Hey, Maytime, thank you for a follow. Sorry, we're just testing some brushes today. Oh. <laughs> we're just testing brushes. I'll, I'll, I'll actually paint something later on. <laughs> like, this is the last painting I made. I've got things open in case people actually wonder what I usually do <laughs> instead, of, instead of this. <laughs> I think this was made for me, really. Like. Ugh. Speedy bunnies, thank you for the follow. Wow. Hello. Mm -mm. It's okay, you love the little bug, thank you. Yes, it's the mascot around here. I even have him have him on the side. Like physical actual bug it's not an actual bug unfortunately actual bugs don't don't look like this <laughs> ah yeah so this one is like a mixture of all of them so cute wow i love this i think i think i'm definitely gonna use these Mm -mm. Thank you, Speedy Bunnies. I am actually using um, this brush pack. Let me copy paste it again. I started using, uh, I bought yesterday this brush pack here by Maddie. And um, I'm just giving it a go. It's um, children illustration brushes, which is absolutely perfect for what I do. <laughs> My work is adorable. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. And you're... Your emote is amazing too. Arna, oh no, the little chicks, they're awesome. So do you stream art as well, May type? Me? I call you me. This could Okay, tell you what, I'm gonna keep the starry ones. I'm gonna keep the starry ones on the side as well. So this one, yes. The second one. This one, not really. This one, yes. If 
It's funny because it's exactly the patterns I usually use. Or... Yeah, this one I could keep too. Once I figure out how... How to make them not squishy. I'll be able to use them. And then like fix all the other ones too. That's cute. Okay. Here we go. All right. Mm -mm -mm. That's your little mascot, Bobo. You do nice. May type also has amazing art. I need to check this out. I need to check your channel out. I see cute emotes I can't resist. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Is it May type? Am I saying this right? How do I pronounce my? How do you pronounce my name? It's Zoe. Yeah, just like that. It has a little, but it's <laughs> exactly the same. I'm French, I live in the UK, um, and I make cute art and it's like my, okay, 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 mm -mm. I had a friend, she was Cantonese, her name was Mai as well. Let me see. So cute. Your page is loading. My my computer doesn't like me streaming and uh, streaming and uh, opening windows at the same time. I'm definitely giving you a follow, and I'll have a look later on. You're glad you did a random check on art section. I don't do this enough now. I don't I don't do it too often anymore, but definitely this is Oh. This one is just directional. It's it's not directional, it's fixed, like a fixed texture. Okay. I'm just going through all these brushes. Oh, like oh, perfect for for houses. <laughs> for brickwork. House, house roofs. Mm -mm. You try to do it from time to time? Yeah. There's so many underrated artists that can be found. I rarely go for the... I rarely go for the... The people who have like 100 or 200 viewers. I try and look for people who've got... Maybe like 10. <laughs> 10, 20 people or less. Brush that looks great. Yeah. I'm really excited to, to use it some more. I like this one. I'm going to keep this one too. There you go. I'm, I'm sort of keeping the ones that I think I will be using. The glowy lights one is also cool. Mm -mm. Same, it's easier to talk with the artist, right? And to you, that's the best part of streaming. It really is. I I think that most people don't really follow for the art. They just follow for the vibes. <laughs> how How is this different than the other one? Other color circles. They both look the same to me. Is it just... Ah, no, okay, they're not the same. This one is kind of like offset. And this one is... Okay, that makes sense. I don't see myself using those. Crosses pattern. 
Ah, oh, that could be useful. Like, um... I mean, I get why you would want to use it, like, if you're... If you're doing, like, character clothes or something like that, that could be... That could be cool. Um, to you, you care about both. First you look at art, but you stay for the artist. Yeah, I think that's how... That's how it goes, usually. Runs in, does a lap, and jumps into a beanbag chair, pretending nothing happened. <laughs> Hey Loki, what an entrance! What an entrance! How is your weekend going? Okay, I like this. There's some color jitter in there as well. Soft fluffy leaves. Ah, let's do like a green one. Proper, proper tested out. Yes! That's useful. Do something like this. You get the idea. <laughs> mm -mm. Do, 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 do. Pretty brush, yes. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, you said nothing happened. That's true. We have to pretend nothing happened. The weekend has been good so far. Cool. Where are these brushes from? Okay, so I've been copy pasting this link in the chat for the past hour but um i don't know if you know maddie on twitch uh, she doesn't stream very often anymore but she used to stream all the time and um she's a really really cool artist and uh, she has this um she has this brush pack this new brush pack that came out i think a week ago she finished it and um i just i just love her brush packs she has uh like there's another one here that has all kinds of traditional brush textures. Yeah, it's just lovely. <laughs> I love her work. Sorry, no, don't worry, my, uh, uh, my, I was, I wasn't saying it. Um, I wasn't saying it because I'm tired of pay, copy pasting it. I'm saying it because, I, I'm, it's free advertising for her. <laughs> I'm, I'm advertising her work because she she does such cool work. You need it! <laughs> Going to pick it up for sure. Ha! Ah, there you go. Perfect. It's it's not very expensive either. And uh, there's, there's also textures that come with it. There's also like a tutorial. She has like, like an hour, like an hour long tutorial to explain how to use them. Going to pick it up for sure. Uh, I've already read this, I think. <laughs> Same here. Do you do you know Maddie? Have you seen her work before? Just for that one brush, but you might find more you like. Yeah, she has these cool like uh, crayon brushes. Like I like all these. I like all the texture. Um these are kind of like the ones I've, I've been keeping on the side. I'm gonna have so much fun with these. <laughs> I need a commission for this advertising. No, 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 she deserves it. She deserves it. She, she works so hard on those packs. She really does. It's a, it's a labor of love. Mm -mm. But the, the the leafy ones are quite good. Nice. Okay. I don't know if this is something I would be using necessarily, but 
I like the fact that they're different colors. Which which program do you normally use my uh, to work? I use Clip Studio Paint. Um, but the 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 brush packs are for um, it's for Photoshop and Procreate. But Clip Studio Paint can import Photoshop brushes, so that's why I can use them. It's more like flat. Mostly Photoshop and okay, occasionally Procreate. Ah, oh, right, cool. I've I've tried Procreate and I don't know. I'm not I'm not such a big fan. I'm not a huge fan of Procreate. I don't know why. I tried it once. Um, maybe I would need to try it for longer. I tried it once for about two hours. Tried making a making a thing with it. Okay, I like this. This is... Press patches. Oh! Happy little plants. Oh! Okay. <laughs> this one I think it was. This one I'm keeping. Now we're gonna start getting into like the the patterns and um, not patterns but like the the stamp brushes and things like that. Thank goodness you can use your works for the job. Oh right, what do you what do you do if that's okay to ask? You don't have to answer if you don't want to, but I'm just wondering, a graphic designer or something. Yeah, I just have an old uh, Photoshop CS6 version <laughs> that I use occasionally to do a few... Like, I use it sometimes. Not, not too often. I use it for um, mainly, like, retouching uh, product pictures and stuff like that. Mm -mm. You work at a small game company, you usually work on character design and props and games. That's so cool! Wow, that's awesome. So you're actually doing like a creative job, that's really cool. Vertical plant painter. Oh, wrong way around. Ah, that one is useful. <laughs> That's cute. Feel blessed and lucky. Definitely. Well done to you. These are cool. Let's see which one, which one was it that I liked again? <laughs> uh, this one? Yeah, this one. This one's cool. You got your work by very big luck, really? What happened? Tell us the story! Vertical flower painter. Okay, I got this one. Leafy. Oh, that's cute. I like they've got so much texture in them as well. Mm 
Okay, grass brushes. Something that I will not be using. But I get what I get why some people would. In direction. Oh no. So it's only windy in one direction, okay. Let's see plants. Oh these are cute though. I like that. It's funny because it's exactly the, the kind of shapes I would be using <laughs> in my work. Flowers. Nice. These are cute. I should copy some of <laughs> I should copy some of these shape ideas. Mushrooms. Ah cute. this sketchy bush painter uh, I don't know about this like I see I see why you would want to use it but it's just not for me and all the stamps let's try all the stamps This is very Iravil looking. Mm -mm -mm. You were in uni first year, you and your best bud were eating kebabs and got a call from a course mate to run fast back to uni. You were confused and scared, you came to your teacher's office. <laughs> he loved your stuff and would always say you're drawing manga even though you weren't. <laughs> um, there's that your current boss who came to your teacher to learn how to draw, but he was like, no learning today, I got workers for you. What? Showed your stuff, which you won't lie, wasn't too good, did an internship, and now you're working there for five years. Wow, that's so cool. I think that's something that uni is really good at, like giving you the connections. Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. I'm glad you had this opportunity. I kind of went the... I went the... Um, freelance route. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna open an Etsy shop. Now it's not on Etsy anymore, but like... I have this little thing that I like. I'm gonna put it on Instagram and I'm gonna make an Etsy shop and see how it goes. And I remember like, when I first... <laughs> When I first uh, launched my Etsy shop, I was like, so, like I was, I was looking every, <laughs> every half hour to see if I had any orders. <laughs> How disappointed I was. But now it's picking up after how many years now? Uh, nine years. <laughs> <laughs> it's picking up a bit. I have a regular boring day job. And um, I do all this on the side. It's working for me. I don't have the pressure, you know. These are really cute. That looks like something I would draw. <laughs> -da 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 -do 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 -do. You're really grateful to that teacher till that day? For sure. I can imagine I would be... That teacher would be my hero. <laughs> cool that teacher recognized, right? I was getting angsty for my Etsy because I was anxious to do my best, yeah, I guess. You swear you really tried, but you couldn't find a proper wordplay. It's okay. It kind of, it kind of came, it, um, came across. <laughs> it kind of came across. It's fine. Why is Snip not working again? I hate this. 
Oh, because it's not on. Okay, give me a sec. Is this working now? Okay, I'm gonna try it too. Reboot Spotify, see if it works. Uh, mm -mm. That's good, but there's a side effect of not feeling like you got energy to draw for yourself when you draw lots at work. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. I have a boring job, but that suits me. For now. Until I can be full-time. Full-time artist. Would be the goal. It's getting there. Mm -mm -mm. Full-time self-employed is hard though. You're gonna put yourself into chill mode and spend your Sunday gaming and brain napping. Nice! Enjoy, Loki. Take care of yourself. See you next time. See you maybe on Wednesday. If... If you're around, I'll be streaming Wednesday. Hopefully. Fingers crossed I don't forget again this time. Swirls. And flower. Okay, I don't really use stamps, but there are some good ideas there. There are some good um, um, shape ideas. Really hope I will and believe I can because my work is so sweet. Thank you. I'm trying. I'm trying. Full time streamer slash artist. <laughs> Full-time art always has the downside that you can't always draw what you like or do your own projects. That's true. That's true. Okay, let's do a thing. Let's do a thing. I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break and then we'll do an actual painting. Um, let's find a reference to use. What should we do? Like a nighttime scene, maybe, so we can use those stars, <laughs> those star brushes. At your work, you do stuff that's not fully your style. Yeah, because you have to adapt. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Night. Landscape. Mm. What can we find? That's cool. Oops. I don't know if that was the right word search. Ah. Cool mountains. Mm -mm. Definitely a dream to do full time stream, open merch store, and go out whenever you want to. Yes. Dream to work full-time stream. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. I, I think I read it like that anyway. <laughs> Your brain! <laughs> Typing difficult. Typing hard. Okay, let's do maybe a garden. I type garden, what do I get? A lot more greenery. I s it's funny because I see some pictures that I've already painted. <laughs> like these flowers behind me, like these ones, I've already painted that. <laughs> me slow, me lost, that's okay. 
Happens to the best of us. Especially on a Sunday morning. Don't know what to pick, that's always the issue. I spend more time trying to pick a reference picture than actually drawing. Mm, Bulgaria, that's pretty. Or we could just pick something as... Um, pick something as a uh, starting point and kind of do our thing. Have I been there? No, it's in Denmark. But there, there's a similar greenhouse, um, I think, in Edinburgh and in London that I've been to. The Palm House of the Botanical Garden in Copenhagen. Wow. I love botanical gardens. They're the best. I mean, we can take this one as a starting point and then... <laughs> I don't know. There was one that I liked, but I don't know where it's gone. Okay, let's just pick one. Let's just pick this one. <laughs> Did it work? There you go. Let's just pick this one. And I'm gonna put it here. Mm. There. Okay, so I can kind of see it it here so you guys can see it too. I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break and I'll be back in a couple of minutes and then we'll, we'll do something with this with this brush pack. Finally, after two hours of stream. <laughs> I finally went through all the brushes. <laughs> uh, what time is it? It's half one. Okay, let's um, let's say another hour of stream maybe and then and then I'll have to uh, 45 minutes. I'll put a timer on this. I'll put a timer on this so I'm not too... so I don't spend too much time on it because I do have to go to work after. Working from home has its advantages and you can just... you can just start whenever. But I wish... I wish the music thingy would work. It's not working. Let's see if I can fix that before I go. Why you don't work? Why you no work, Snip? I'm really sorry. Usually uh, down there there's uh, the title of the music that's playing, but it's not working today. I'm gonna have to fix it later. Okay, I'll be back guys. Give me a few minutes.
I am back. I am back. Let's do this. Let's spin this. It's more or less the same. No, it's not the same format. Let me change canvas size. It's a bit more naked. That's better. All right. Let's see, let's see. I could I could color pick from here, <laughs> but I'm not gonna. Let's do um like a yellow underpainting. Whoop <laughs> that's bright. <laughs> C'est quoi le logiciel Coucou ça Le logiciel c'est euh, Clip Studio Paint. That's very bright though. That's better. <laughs> Merci. Pas de souci. C'est un logiciel que j'utilise beaucoup. Enfin, c'est en... d'ailleurs le seul logiciel que j'utilise pour. Euh... Euh, la peinture euh, digitale Il est très 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 bien. Ok, let's use. Which ones did I like? Pencil, pencil, charcoal. Charcoal sounds good to start with. Working on the side, nice. Enjoy. Oh, you must be working from home. That's cool. Working from home is amazing. Really happy I'm able to do this. The shapes together. It's like a light green. Mm -hmm. It's your free day, but you got some personal stuff to do. Cool. I hope everything goes well for you. Put mm -hmm. more tapper in here. Okay, I think that's it for the main shapes. It looks okay. This one's a bit further though. Something like this. Oh, you can't see it. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> now you can.
All right, what other? Other one should I? Is there a pencil one that I missed? Let's see, pencil, pencil soft texture. Yeah, there's there's a few pencils here. Maybe I should keep this as well, because I don't really have a pencil tool. I only have like shaders. There you go. That's a cool pencil. All right. Right I'm just going to be using this as a base and then we'll do more things. Two bushes here. Mm. Don't exactly know what's going on there. Right. I think there's like more forest behind. This is more or less the shapes that I can see. I need some darker stuff. There isn't enough. enough. There you go, that's better. Enough contrast. It's saving. Right. Okay, and then there's gonna be the trees on top, of course. But we're gonna we're gonna start with that, and we'll do the trees at the end. Unless I could do it on a separate layer just to see how it's gonna look like. Kinda. Mm. Oh, 
Oh, that one's like perfect for leaves. Something like that. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this one, this oil pastel one, right now. Whoa! I just wanted to turn it off. There you go. Mm -mm. These these shaders. Oh, be back, guys. was my paper. <laughs> I ordered some more paper. Print print paper. Because I didn't have any more. Okay. Ooh, let's do the, the cross hatch thing. Or this. Oh yes. These are good the gouache the gouache ones. Let's try around. I never remember. There's too many brushes. <laughs> Here we go. Red pastel. Ah, yes. Okay, that's that one. And the gouache ones. These are good. I'm not, I'm not too sure what to use now. So, see, charcoal. These are quite similar, these two. Don't see a big difference, actually. Cosmic rays of the sun, welcome. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm just testing out a brush pack today. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Zippy Zipper! Are you the same person? <laughs> Welcome! It's funny because I... Uh... I see someone follow and then uh, <laughs> first time chat from you or from a different person. <laughs> That's funny. Welcome. Same person as who? <laughs> no, but it's funny because I got a, a like someone someone you just followed and then I see this is your first chat, and I was confused. I see, oh, this is not the same name. <laughs> How are you doing today, Zippy? You just arrived? You were looking for a quiet art stream with an art style different from yours? Oh, nice! What kind of art do you usually make? Take care, have a good day. See you later, speedy bunnies! Thank you for, uh, thank you for the lurk. Thank you for dropping by.
But yes, welcome. It is a quiet art stream here. Today is especially quiet. I think it's because all the North American people are not awake yet. <laughs> you make cute gators? Ah, that's nice. Do you have a, a link that we could see? I love meeting new people, so links are encouraged to a certain point, you know, within reason. Within reason, but... Ah, uh, there you go, just Amazon telling me, your order has been delivered. Yes, I know. It's right there. blog of your work cool it's um it's nice to have something something else than just an instagram it's nice to have a dedicated place to put your work and not just social media Also make other stuff besides gators. Ah, that should be it. Should be your your advertising. Zippy zipper. Gators, but not just that. Um, you try to get into Instagram to promote art, but you don't really like being on Instagram. Uh, it just sucks the life out of you. You do well. <laughs> you did good. You just wanted to post your fave websites? Only, only Zoe's that cute? <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't think that's between the reasonable line? <laughs> what are you talking about, Darkest? Also, hi. How are you? Oh, I feel like I'm gonna use this one a lot. We're testing a new brush pack today. Here's your page about gators. Oh, yes. Let's see the gators. Ma! That's so cute! Gator buddies. Featured works. I want to see the featured works. Ah! Ah, that's so cool. You've got so much going on. Nice. I see some Pokemon stuff. I see some other kinds of stuff. Very nice. Instead of only fans, it's only Zoids. <laughs> but then cute. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Let's speak, let's see. It's directional, isn't it? No, it's not. I've just been lucky. Mm -mm. Thank you. Oh yeah, your, your art is really cool. Keep at it. Keep going. Oh, that's the wrong brush. 
Let's see, I'm just trying some stuff here. I don't know if that's gonna work. Mm -mm. Hope I'm doing good. Free day from work. No, I'm working uh, in an hour. So I have to kind of finish this <laughs> and then start work. Keep going. Stay away from Instagram. Yes! <laughs> there you go. You got it. Yeah, no, Instagram is no good. I, I, I mostly just have a look at um, what people do there. I don't really care so much about posting because it's not good for your brain. Oh my gosh, who's this? <laughs> Zippy Zipper, thank you for your follow. Uh, hi Jay, hello Maud! What's up Maud? Mm -mm. Pretty chill not to leave home for work. 100%. It's so good. It's very... Um, very relaxing to know that you don't have to go through the whole you know, transport thing. Um, you don't have to wake up earlier or do anything like that. You just start your computer and you're good to go. You heard that Insta goes back to the chronological feed? Eh? Eh? Thought about picking it up again with a new account that is more fan ad centered? Okay, that sounds that sounds good. But really I haven't heard about that? What uh, what what's the news? I love this one, the oil pastel one. Really good. Sometimes I I think I'm the issue I'm having here is that I I selected a lot of um weird and textured brushes, but I don't have a lot of basics in that set that I picked. So I might have to go back and find myself a few basics. Not now. I'll I'll do I'll do this one without, but later. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, you don't know why you're not following yet, but it's time to change that. Ah, thank you. Let's see how that goes, cause currently it's bad. Um, Instagram, yeah. More tired, just open my eyes. Oh, mode. Oh, are you are you working today? I hope not. I hope you get to stay home and do nothing. So far, so good. I, I love the textures. And I, I, 
Really, I think that these brushes are very usable. There, there are some weird ones, but... Um, definitely usable for the most part. Except all the stumps. We don't like the stumps. I mean, they're cute, but they're not super useful, I think. Mm -mm. You find the whole idea of keeping up with social media trends and hashtags are uh, boring? Or like, yeah, it's difficult. It's, it's kind of... Uh, uh, it's... It's not fun and... Um, It's draining. It's draining having to to think about all that. Now I kind of post when I remember to post. Kind of like, oh yeah, that's true. I also have an account. I can, you know, I have this piece of work that maybe could be cool on there. <laughs> mm -mm. Thank God. Nice. You wouldn't earn a living without social media, so you won't bitch too much about it. Yeah. So, are you full time right now, Possum? Really looks very nice already. They're very soft. Most of them are. Most of them are really soft. I still have this one. It's a bit harder. Ah. Ah. I think I messed it up. I missed the brush up. <laughs> um, reset to default. Here we go. No. Whoop whoop, 2k to go for Bug Cafe. Whoa, nice. I don't know if you saw it lately, but we have... Um, I think we're getting close. We're getting close to having it having it finished. This is how many people we have on here. Um, the newest additions being Draw Your Bliss as a Velvet Worm. We have... who was this? I think it's Suzanne's bug. Yes. Suzanne. And then we have... Ashlyn over here, which I think is really cool. I don't remember the name of the bug. I have it there somewhere, but it's like, it's really fun. How many? I think it's... Counts 15 people right now. There's still space for maybe, um, I don't know, four? Four-ish? Um, you're okay with platforms like Twitch and other websites like Ko-fi slash Patreon, but you prefer to have your own blog rather than promoting yourself on Instagram. I think that... I, th I, th I think the same. I think the same. I, it, it's kind of nice to have an Instagram like as a portfolio sort of thing, um, where you post once in a while your best pieces, for example, so that if people ask, oh, do you have a, do you have social media or something, you can have something <laughs> there. <laughs> but um, I don't really post that much anymore. It's tiring, but you personally don't care about those stuff anymore and focus more on just creating and dropping the art and leaving it be. Yes, <laughs> that's, that's a good approach. Also time consuming to worry. Yes. How many likes am I going to get on this post? Like, who cares? <laughs> the amount of likes doesn't measure your your worth, especially now that you never know what Instagram is going to show your viewers. Like your post, it maybe you're gonna have like twice twice the amount of likes as you normally do, but that's probably because the algorithm, right? It doesn't mean that people like it more or less. <laughs> it means that Instagram is showing it to more or less people. Um, do, 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 do. Patreon, Patreon, <laughs> and comes makes you enough to do it full time. That's so cool! Ah, I'm so happy for you, Possum. I didn't know that. I didn't know you you were actually full time right now. That's really amazing. 
Uh, what kind of things do you make sounds cool. <laughs> Possum, what kind of things do you make? <laughs> the dogs are so precious, they must be protected. Thank you. I think this one is my favorite. It's the millipede. <laughs> yeah, I really like drawing insects and they're really fun. We have a scorpion and some, like, uh, a mantis and a... <laughs> a tipede. <laughs> Yeah, this is the community piece. Uh, people can pay channel points to be in the illustration and you can choose like the type of bug and stuff like that. Um, here, that's what I was doing. Mode used to be super into social medias, but slowly you're just starting getting too tired to use them. And so now you really only use Discord and watch people on Twitch and YouTube. Yep, that's exactly the same as me. I still scroll on Instagram, I just like aimlessly <laughs> look through people's work, but I feel like I'm 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 following so many people and it's only showing me maybe like 50, 50 people kind of consistently, but all the other ones that I follow, that just kind of, it's a bit sad. Um, you need to hurry with the 2k points? Oh, I think it's fine, Darkest. I think it'll be fine. You draw queer Nazi for work art, art, so nothing you'd share here. <laughs> but you love doing it and there's a need and filling the niche allows you to eat. That's perfect. You know, you, you, you found the thing that you like to do and the thing that kind of like works for you also, not only art wise, but also business wise. So perfect. That, that's really awesome. Even better to do that kind of stuff full time. <laughs> Modipede! Yes, it's the Modipede. That was so cute! <laughs> I can't take this. Oh, how's it be? Thank you. You hope to make that milk cat you posted into, into Discord in a full-time thing? Yes, it's one of those things you can still do while taking care of Willow. Government is still not paying anything. Are they not? Why? I mean, why? It's, you know, a bit... Uh, I bet it's stupid reasons, but... It's really crazy that you guys, like, you guys really need the help. Why can't they see this? What are the reasons that they say why they cannot do it? This is really stupid. I'm really sorry to hear that darkest. It sucks when government does not pull through, right? You'll be okay eventually. The good things are gonna happen to you guys. I can, I can feel it. Karma, right? There, there's bound to, there has to be good things coming for you both. They're still investigating, if you get it. Uh, they made a lot of mistakes and blamed you as well for it. Hopefully on upcoming Friday we get better news. Yes, fingers crossed. Let me know. Is it weird that you're super excited for me to put those color pops of Hydran J on the bushes? You should be working on your paper but you can't stop watching. <laughs> no, no, it's not weird. I completely understand. I completely understand what you mean. I'm gonna do the trees separate though, on a separate layer. Like, all this is on a on a single layer, but I'm... I don't want to lose this kind of edge here, so... I'm gonna do the... The tree is separate. Um... Let me do the crosshatch here as well. Wah! That's big! That's big! Ooh. 
Ooh, yes, here is my Discord. We post, we post uh, each other's art, and uh, and there's like stream notifications on there, and we have a music share channel. It's a good time. Come hang out. I really like this brush. Like it's it's gonna be really cool to use, like just here as like a detail, you know, not necessarily all over, but just as details. Is spamming food pictures allowed? Yes, the channel would be selfies and IRL. I think I think that would be the most appropriate place for food pics. Food pics. I don't know which one I'm going to use for the trees. Probably this one, just the, the clean, clean brush. I don't know. What time is it? <laughs> I have another 10 minutes and then I have to, I have to go. Let's see. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this. If not today, I can fin- uh, if not right now, I can finish it tonight. Mm -mm -mm. You were not paying attention and you heard food fix. <laughs> it's not luckily food is better. Oof, that would be not good. Not good. Oof. Food picks are not allowed on the Discord. I'm joking, but it's uh I don't think it would be very appreciated. to see what kind of transition oh russian thank you for the follow how are you today i hope you're having a wonderful weekend so far Yeah, definitely. I don't think I'll be able to finish <laughs> today, but woo! Um, ancient ruins. Yes, well done. You're getting good at this mode. <laughs> don't think you didn't try exposing your feet. Uh, no, please don't. <laughs> Doing well, thanks. This looks like a cute piece so far. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm just... Um, I'm trying out new brushes today. This is a new brush day. I do a lot more traditional painting than I do digital. Um, but once in a while I like to... I like to buy a new brush set. Give it a go.
Okay, let's do it like this. It's not exactly like the photo, but... It's the good thing with painting. We can do whatever we want. You're not the boss of me! Uh, reference picture. <laughs> Mode hasn't touched Slime Rancher in so long, can't wait for a second. There's gonna be a second? There's gonna be a second. <laughs> mm -mm. What medium do I use when physically painting? Gouache a lot, um, acrylic gouache. I'm I'm a, more like a mixed media type person, so I've got like a desk next to me and I have all kinds. I've got some, uh, I've got acrylic gouache, I have regular gouache, pencils, pastels, uh, pastel pencils, <laughs> you know, the whole lot. And uh, I just like swapping between, um, between mediums and I think it's, I think it's the the most fun part. Just kind of grabbing whatever comes first. Oops. That's better. This piece is coming along great. <laughs> Thank you, Mai. Oh, I know what I can do. I can uh, uh, lock this, and then I can put some put some texture in the freaking trees. Can tree bark. I feel like you already sent me the trailer for the second. Maybe. <laughs> Pro probably. <laughs> um. Cool, you haven't tried gouache yet, but you've been watching people paint with it and it always looks so vibrant. Gouache is so fun. Definitely, if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend. It's um, it's a very fun medium. It's a little bit difficult to... Um, to pick up at first because it's, it kind of re-wets. Um, so if you're... like regular gouache, if you're... Uh, if you're painting on top of a layer that you've already done, like if you're painting like a, a light color on top of your dark color and you scrub it, it's going to come off and it's going to mix together. So in a way, like it can be nice, but I think if you're if you're used to like acrylics and things like that, it can be a little bit um, challenging at first. How do that? Painting and not affecting the, <laughs> the layers behind it. Ah, what I've just done with like this, you mean? Okay, so I'm just, um, I don't know if you, if you've used any kind of program like this, um, I don't know what program do you use, CP, but, um, on Photoshop also, there is a, you can lock the transparency of your layer, so like on Clip Studio it's right here, there's like a little lock, and, um, basically it means that whatever, whatever is transparent will not be affected, so you're only painting on, ugh, you're only painting on uh, what's actually already there. Pretty handy. Oh, Cherry Bean, thank you for following. Welcome, welcome. I'm almost done streaming though. Uh, I have to... I have to go. 
I have to go. It's, I start work in 30 minutes. <laughs> don't want to be late for work. But I also really want to finish this and I'm sad I can't. Okay, you know, the, I'm gonna do one last thing though. Just for you, person. <laughs> just for you, I'm gonna put in some... Some... Uh, some... What's it called? The flowers in the foreground before I leave. It's like a purplish blue, like this. Well, it's probably not gonna be the final thing, but I know that you were waiting for that, so... Now some pink ones. <laughs> wow, 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 the more you know. <laughs> Must take note. Yes, honestly, have a look. Uh, and in Photoshop, it's um, it's it's a little bit like that, except it doesn't have a lock next to it, I don't think. it's um, But it's it's more or less in the same spot. And you can lock your, lock your layer and work on only what's there. There's some wet ones there too. There you go. <laughs> it's not gonna be the final thing, but uh, at least it's there for now. And I can also add some, some mock-up leaves on this. Ah! Tana! <laughs> what did I do? Mm -mm -mm. Save! Oh yes, thank you, Cherry. <laughs> I should probably save. <laughs> That's a good idea. I don't think I saved since the beginning. You have to use Photoshop to do the files for the printed Valentine's Day postcard? Oh! Oh yeah, that makes sense. You forgot the shortcut for locking the transparency. You're so used to CSP now. I I bear. I don't use a short. I don't use shortcuts because I don't have a keyboard. <laughs> I should. I should. I should use shortcuts. Mm -mm. It looks so good. Thank you. Ah, uh, you guys. I have to leave now because I start work soon. But it was nice to see you. It could not work without shortcuts. Oh, I know. So handy. So handy. I mean, I've got a... I've got a... A, a, a keyboard, like an external keyboard, but I, I don't... I don't use it very often. I should. <laughs> Meow! Oh, that's cute! Okay, you guys, we're gonna raid. Who is streaming right now? Ooh, shall we go see? Shall we go see Arcasian? Or Leaf Bear? Hmm. Hmm. Two good options. Two good options. Now we're gonna see. We're gonna see Annalise. We're gonna see uh, Arcasian. Mm -mm -mm. Can this, art, can this artwork be your backyard? Oh, I wish. I wish. That would be really nice. <laughs> was fun chilling with me here. Hope you catch, catch you me again later. Hope work is good. Thank you, Rashad. Yes, I'm welcome. Much sadness, but why are you glad you clicked on this stream today? I'll be back on Wednesday. Um, Wednesday for sure. And then maybe, maybe uh, another rogue stream during the week. I don't know what's going to happen yet. Hope my day at work goes smoothly. Thank you. Same to you guys. Have a good one. Bye. Have a good one. Thanks for the stream. Bye. Let's see. Oh, great. <laughs> Have a good day. Spam food picks in Discord later. Yes, thank you. And don't forget to change your name to um, your... your um, 
um, to your Twitch name so I can remember who is who, okay? All right, you guys, I'll see you Wednesday and on the Discord whenever, because I'm always in there, kind of. Take care, everyone. Goodbye. Thank you.